hey guys it's peter and ice cream bar so today i have another wig video for you guys and this first clip is just to show you the speed at which i normally work normally i've uh speeded up this footage so you can't really tell so i thought this would be helpful to some of you to see how slow and very very slow this process is anyway today i'm working on a wig for citrus and this is going to be a wig that is alpaca hair as well as uh, synthetic dreadlocks i thought it would be interesting to experiment with i tried it before and it didn't work so well so i thought hey let's give it another go so this time around you can see i am doing what i normally do just taking the hair it's already pre-cut and pre-dyed and um using this time normally i use mod podge this time i am using dura clear which is just like a matte uh, clear coat it's basically the same effect and you can see on the wig cap which i have a video on how to make by the way if you guys have not seen that yet or are curious i'll leave a link to that below um, on the wig cap i've drawn in pencil where i want the hair to be the alpaca fiber and the rest is going to be the dreadlocks uh, if you're curious, what I was just doing there was using uh, little wooden sculpture tools to just help uh, flatten out the DuraClear and the fiber. And I'm just going to continue layering the fiber. Um, this hair actually did not, this was a very difficult color I was trying to achieve. And for the life of me, I could not find the right color. So I had to try and make it myself, left it in the dye bath too long, so some of it turned out the color I wanted, some of it turned out very deep foresty green. It's definitely something that I will have to continue to work on. Normally my dyeing experience goes well, but this one did not, so kind of made this wig a little more difficult. For those of you who have never seen a wig making video before of mine or are not sure what is happening at all, this fiber is from uh, Surrey Alpacas. When you get the raw fiber, there's quite a bit of processing that you have to go through to get to this point. Um, this has been combed through, washed, conditioned, dyed, combed through again, so much fiber loss, oh my gosh. But I am going to be uh, selling some alpaca fiber that is pre-processed and mostly pre-dyed in an Etsy store that I am hoping to open up soon, so definitely check that out if you guys are curious about some alpaca fiber of your own. And this is the part that just gets pretty repetitive. It's just more putting on hair, more coats of DuraClear. Um, this wig ended up having a lot more layers than I wanted it to. <sighs> because I messed up the dye job, I could not use the entire bit of the fiber, the entire length of the fiber. So I ended up with a lot of varying lengths of usable fiber and it ended up being really choppy. Now you're noticing I'm gluing the layers of hair really, really close together, which is something I probably would normally do anyway, but with a shorter style, if you want hair that's a little thinner, that lays a little flatter, you can definitely space those layers apart a little bit more. In fact, if you look at a synthetic wig, you can kind of see there's definitely layers of empty space and if you look at the hair on your own head there's plenty of empty space between your hair follicles you know considering the, the scale of your human head versus a ball joint doll's head anyway you can see i'm pretty much getting toward the end of my line there and once i get to the end of that line what's going to happen is i'm going to make a part and this part is going to have hair that is just glued in the opposite direction as I've been gluing all of that other hair. And once that dries, I'm gonna flip it forward so it makes a nice little part. Then I'm just going to take some synthetic dreadlocks that I made. I also have a video that I will link you to for that. And sew them into the back of the wig cap. They have to be sewn in. They can't really be glued in. They would weigh too much, I think. And then it's done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this process. I hope you guys are interested in maybe seeing some alpaca hair. I'm also going to be making some synthetic dreadlocks for the Etsy store. So hopefully you guys will check that out. And I hope this video was helpful to anyone with their own wig making projects. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.